sweet sweet pepper. What do you need? A tissue for her tough endeavor. But you're out of tissues and no company is making them. What you need is a factory for the removal of your flesh. But this factory for tissues is much more advanced than you think. What were you expecting? A five inch leap? Well, this leap is five miles, but probably longer, and a whole lot of money will help make this company stronger. In order to make tissues, we will first need a building. Also, make sure to build it in a place with some social stability. But you also have a lot of waste when doing the tissue making, so also find a place to dump your unwanted flakings. But that I mean around 19,000 gallons of water and 5.6 thousand pounds of greenhouse gases. Oh, the 2.2 thousand pounds of additional waste. Oh, wow, how is EPA gonna give you any extra free passes? What else do we need? Oh, we do need a lot. Patent laws and safety laws you must have got. Say, remember all that money that had just made you rich? Well, use it all for the factory. It'll be gone in a squish. We'll need workers to build the factory and money to pay them, too. Along with trees, metal, glass, energies, and additional workers to get those for you. You'll also need an architect along with money to pay him. Also, the materials you want so he doesn't get dim. Once we have all of those, we'll need those workers to build. And after a few months of time, you will for sure get built. But on the good side, the factory done and looks great! Now it's time to actually start making tissues and actually work. I'm like a lazy ape. Start manufacturing, we'll need some good old friends. One will be a recycled paperboard company, and the other one will be plastic. Each will have your paycheck go up in bends. A few million dollars in capital for your imports of recycled paperboard and plastic. And with all these supplies, you can make tissue boxes. I ecstatic! Next, you'll need a few more supplies. You'll need the knowledge of making paper and how to do it in little time. Remember that crippled wallet of yours? Paper creation machinery will be bought with even more of it, making you even more poor. And if you wanted to spare what was left with, impossible. If you don't give the money to the works that will manage the machinery, they will obviously quit. We do need a few more things. Trees and water. Oh, how I feel bad for those beavers and otters. And you'll also need, guess what, more workers to get these materials for you. But don't forget to pay them too. But don't forget the worker most important of all, the paper quality expert. And believe me, don't you dare make his paycheck small. But on the topic of small things, assembly workers can have their paycheck small. They're so desperate to work, they'll work for barely anything till they fall. Pre-production is done! Hooray! Time to get cooking! Make sure all your workers aren't asleep and at the machines they are looking. <laughs> The trees will be grinded to a pulp. The pulp then will be mixed with a few thousand gallons of water, which then used you will then dump. Then the new mixture gets dried and rolled, and after the paper crawl we experts test, the paper will be folded. This is where all your expensive imports come in. The assembly workers make boxes found from the recycled paperboard and plastic, fold the tissues, and put them in a bin. Congratulations! You made your first tissue box! Oh, but don't you stop. Don't you ever put your facility in any permanent box. Make more thousands, millions, don't stop ever. You'll eventually make billions and trillions. Now it's time to export and purchase some trucks. But don't get scared. You can get them sort of cheap at some log. But not before you have some contact with the store. If your products aren't selling anywhere, your company will be a bore. But who would ever want to buy your products if they don't know about them? You'll need some advertisements so your tissues will look like a gem. You'll need workers to make them and pay for places to put them. Once people start seeing them, they'll stop having problems with their phlegm. Once you finally get a customer, they will hopefully find it keen. Just remember to remind them on the packaging that your product is 100% green. Say how it's from recycled materials and how you care about the earth. But don't include what you really care about is how much your company's stock is worth. Once the product is used, it's fortunately eco-friendly. The tissue is getting composted into fertilizers and the box is recycled to new boxes. With everyone including Earth, you'll be bestie.